Hi everyone, how are you? I am Adriana from LuLaRoe Adriana Isabel, and I'm here to share with you the classic tea. The classic tea is a shirt I think that often gets overlooked, and um, I think it's a really fun uh, shirt. It was actually my very first love. It was the first shirt that I fell in love with, LuLaRoe. Um, and then I graduated and got to know some other styles that I also really, really love. But the classic tea is still um, just one that is warm in my heart. So let me share with you the classic tea. So the classic tea, as you can see, has a scoop neck and it's one of our lower um, neck shirts, but you're not gonna see anything. Has shorter sleeves and it's still high-low, so higher in the front, lower in the back, still long enough that it covers my rear and that I feel comfortable enough wearing leggings with. So this is my true size. This is an extra extra small and honestly I will wear it with my leggings just like this. Um, however, if you want it, um, it is a little bit more loose. So if you want to add some texture, if you want it to be a little bit more form fitting, you can put a little ponytail holder in the back. You don't have a lot of room to work with as far as material goes. So it's going to be a smaller um, ponytail, like I showed on my Irma or my Carly, there's more material to work with, but here, um, it's just gonna be just like a little ponytail. So as you can see, it's just a tiny bit of material, but it'll serve the purposes for making this a little bit more form-fitting, and we'll still cover it back there, and creates this cute little tail, and um, we'll just be a little bit more form-fitting. But, like I said, I like to wear it just like this with my leggings. So, when I size up, I like to play around with it a little bit more. So, let's move on up to my next size. Because, don't limit yourselves, you guys. If you see a print that you like and it's not in your true size, it's okay if you size up um, one or even two times, maybe even three. Because you can play around with that um, classic and have fun with it. So, I like to size up as much as two times but some people can size up more. Okay, so now this is an extra small classic. So as you can see, it's a little bit looser, has more material, I can totally wear it like this. I can put that ponytail holder in the back to make it that more form-fitting look that I just showed with the extra, extra small. I can put it even on the side and create that ponytail hold, um, that ponytail here on the inside, um, just to kind of um, make it a little bit more form-fitting, maybe so it's not so loose, creates that cute little, I call this my like waterfall look. Um, and it's still, I can still totally rock this and it looks really cute. And I can still wear it with my leggings, covers everything that I want covered. You can create that also in the middle, that same look. And of course I can also tie this um, on the side with just a knot, no ponytail holder needed. So I'm tying it in the middle. Remember, not a whole lot of material to work with on this shirt, so it's a little more form-fitting, but that's a really cute way of wearing it as well. All right, so let me show you also how with this, remember I sized up, so I'm um, one size up from my normal size. So I feel totally comfortable now creating that knot on the side and um, and it's still going to cover everything because I've sized up. So, and, I, and I'm comfortable with that. I feel totally okay with sizing up. I find a print that I like. It's not in my true size. I want to size up. Not a problem. I can totally rock it. Okay, so I can do that. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to size up one more time. So I'm going to go up to a small. So this is going to be looser, um, of course, than the other shirts because I've sized up, but that's okay. I still feel comfortable enough where I can wear it. So, see, as you can see, there's lots more material. Covers everything. Oh, it's really comfortable, you guys. That's what I like. One of the things I like about LuLaRoe, there's so much that I like about LuLaRoe. But, um, I feel, I definitely feel comfortable knotting it. There's a lot more material, as you can see now, for me to play with and to knot it here and to do the same things that I just showed you with the other um, shirts where I created that waterfall look or that ponytail in the back. And I'm, I'm so comfortable, you guys. Even though I sized up two times, it's not even a big deal. 
because I can wear it like this and I'm and I'm comfortable you guys it's not like I'm like oh my gosh this shirt is too big no I feel comfortable wearing it and I would totally wear this out okay now and some ways that I like to wear the classic so I like to wear the classic so I'm grabbing a Nicole here so I'm going to put a Nicole on and I like to layer with the classic so I can wear it just with my leggings or I can start layering so this is my Nicole and if you don't know the Nicole then um, I, have an, I have another video for that but um, just really quickly it's got longer sleeves and it's got a tighter bodice and the nice thing about the Nicole is that it has this skirt that's so fun now what I'm going to do with my classic is I'm going to put it on right over my Nicole Seriously, I'm just going to put it on right over it, just like this, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up, and I'm going to put my knot, but I brought the shirt up, so the shirt is not as long. So I brought it up. My sleeves are a little too long, so I'm going to fold them up. But I, for me, I like my sleeves still peeking through a little bit. Maybe you don't like that, so I'm going to bring them all the way up, but I do like to have them peeking in a little bit. I'm sorry the video is so dark. I don't know if I mentioned already, but it's been raining. And so, um, this is as much light as I could get. Okay, and look at how cute, you guys. I've layered. I still got the skirt of the Nicole, and it looks great. And I'm a little bit warmer. I would probably wear, um, on a cooler day, maybe a Lindsay and a Sarah over this as well. Okay. Um, now, I would, I'm going to show you even another thing I can do with the Nicole. This is also um, something that I show on the Nicole video, but just to, for the purposes of showing you how you can wear that classic, so bring, if you don't want to wear the, you don't really want to layer, you just want the skirt part. So I'm just literally putting that top part of the Nicole inside here, and I'm going to wear this and just kind of do the same thing but i've just got more of this skirt going on so if you don't want to layer and i can make my knot okay so that's a really cute way um i forgot to show you something so sorry i'm dressing i'm dressing so much uh let's see here okay so i'm gonna bring this up like i said this is in the nicole video so but i'm just trying to show you how you can really play with this closet um Okay, so that you know how to layer it and so you aren't afraid to layer because it is fun and it's fun to mix patterns um, it's fun to mix colors I feel like this goes very well together so I feel like it works okay so I've got my plastic sorry something's going on here with the tag there we go I got the two tags stuck together this is something from my inventory all right I'm gonna bring my Okay, so I'm bringing this up, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm going to knot this on the side, just like I showed earlier. I'd probably use a different belt, but this is the one I have on hand. So I'm gonna do it with this belt. Um, this it looks a little funny. All right, and there we go. So I've got this cute little classic tee going on here. And what I did is I created my Nicole so that it goes, it's got that high low, but I can still wear this classic tee with it. So basically I just transformed the top of my Nicole so that I can, I mentioned this before, I can wear Nicole, I can wear this on Monday as is, and then I can wear this again on Friday layering and nobody would even know because I've just changed the whole look of it. So. That's another reason why I love LuLaRoe because I feel like, you know, maybe before I probably wouldn't spend um, $48 on a Nicole or $35 on a classic, but you guys, it is so worth it. You have so many outfits in one, it's ridiculous. So, um, and that's just me, maybe that's in your budget, but um, we have four kids and I'm a stay at home mom. So prior to LuLaRoe, I was just um, staying with my kiddos. And so I really, we, that just wasn't in our budget. Um, but I did find LuLaRoe um, and started shopping and so I would buy a couple things here and there and 
I just thought, gosh, this is really worth it because I have so many outfits in one. Okay, I am putting on a Julia because I'm gonna show you that you can also do the same thing with the Julia. So if you don't know the Julia, the Julia is a more form-fitting dress. I also have a video on this and different ways that you can play around with the Julia. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you with the classic tee how you can layer it as well. Sorry, I feel like I'm speeding up all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, so same same idea. I, I, like to, I like to nod it, that's just my thing, especially when I'm layering. I feel like that works and it looks really cute and um, I don't know, that's just my thing for layering. So there we go, I've layered. It looks really cute, you guys. Um, especially if you're like afraid of the Julie and you're like, gosh, I don't want, um, you know, as a mommy, I know I have, um, my tummy's just not what it used to be. So I like to cover it up a little bit more. Perfect. And you can make this as short as you like. So I can bring it up here and make the knot appear. Or, oops, that's what I get for not tying it tight enough. Oh, and by the way, if you tie it tight enough, you won't have that problem. I did, I, I was kind of trying to go quick and. Um, didn't tie it tight enough. So look how cute you guys. That's adorable. And you can, I've gone this, I've gone outside with just wearing something like this um, just to run errands. Just put on some casual shoes, layered. It was a colder day and it's that easy. All right. The other way I wanted to show you to wear a classic. Sorry, I'm in a live, well, this isn't live, but it kind of feels live because I'm just recording as I go, but I feel like it, I always mention this, I'm in a live dressing room. Okay, I'm gonna put on a Cassie. If you're not familiar with the Cassie, I'll have another video for that, but this is our pencil skirt, super stretchy, um, no zippers. I don't feel like it's hugging me super tight. All right, and I'm gonna play around with the classic. So what I've done is this one has blue and red, so I pulled out um, the blue, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my classic. And I like to wear this with my Cassie. And you guys know, <laughs> by now, one of the ways I like to wear it with my Cassie is go ahead and I like to knot it on the side. So when I layer or when I um, wear it with a dress or with a Cassie skirt, I do like to tie it in a knot. But I'm gonna show you another way I like to wear the Cassie too, if I want it maybe even a little bit dressier. So, and I can go shorter like this or I can go longer if I want. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Oh, also with the Cassie, sometimes what I do is I just pull it up and I fold. As you can see, the print is on this part too. So I'll fold it over and then it makes the skirt not as long. And I can still do that. There we go. All right, I will also wear this by, I'm gonna tuck it inside my Cassie now and you can bring the Cassie up like this, get a belt and put the belt around. Make sure I have, I'm putting on the belt correctly. And look how cute you guys, and then I'll throw something over it or you can just wear it like this. I mean, I think this is dressy enough to go to work. I think it's dressy enough to go out and um, I will wear this even to my pop-ups put on a little a joy over it or something, and I feel like I'm pretty fancy. And you can wear this with leggings. Um, you can wear it without the leggings, however you'd like. So, and then you can pull it down too, if you prefer it a little bit further down. It doesn't have to be that high, it's where you feel comfortable. So, that's how my tricks for the classic. This is Phoebe, and she is wearing a classic. It's purples and blues. So what I've done is I've taken some leggings that have the lavender dots to pull out the lavender from the flower. There are some deeper blues in here, which is probably hard to see. Um, but uh, I think these leggings match really well. Even the blues may not be as dark as the leggings, but like I mentioned before, you can pattern mix and this works you guys. It's just, this is just a very light pattern mixing. Uh, so something that um, if you're just kind of new to pattern mixing and you're like, whoa, I don't want to go too crazy because I didn't go too crazy with my first pattern mixing, but this is something that works really well. All right, you guys, I hope that you learned a new way to wear the classic or maybe just, I don't know, found, um, a way where you can just layer or just change it up a little bit. So, uh, the classic is a fun shirt. And like I said, I think it gets overlooked a little bit, 
but it's definitely a great shirt to play with. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and let me know um, if there's anything else you'd like to watch or any feedback. Thanks, you guys. Have a great night and day and week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.